Hi everyone, I'm June and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about Dying of the Light, written by George R. Martin and published in 1977. So it is a very old science fiction book and it was also nominated to the Hugo Award. Let's start talking about the setting. Warlon is a lonely planet. It doesn't have a star and is wandering around the universe until it is discovered when it is approaching to a group of stars. So the humans, among other races, I think, decide to experiment and terraform Warlon. They plant trees and bring animals from different worlds. They found new cities and they end up celebrating this achievement. Unfortunately, Warlon continues its way, going farther and farther away from the stars, becoming colder and colder until everything will die one day. Dirk Larian is summoned to come to this planet. The jewel, or better called Whisper Jewel, that summons Dirk to come to Warlon was given by Gwen Delvano, with whom he had a relationship in the past. Gwen is a biologist who is working and doing some researches in Warlon before everything dies. Dirk comes to Warlon thinking that maybe Gwen still has feelings for him, but the reality is totally different. Gwen is already in a type of relationship with Jan Bikari and his companion Gars Janasek. Both of them belong to a very different culture where it is hard to say if this bond is pure love or a type of slavery. Well, we all know George W. R. Martin because of Game of Thrones. Although I have read the first book only, I know it is an amazing series. And I happened to read another book called Night Flyers, which is a science fiction horror book that I really enjoyed. So I had high expectations about Dying of the Light. I think the plot was interesting. I liked the beginning. I was very intrigued about this planet and what we can find in it. But then the story became a bit boring. With all this stuff related with the culture of Beacon and Janasek, too formal, too many rules, and the worst of all, the names. They have like four or five names and every name has its own meaning and a reason to be there and you cannot call them by any name. And if you happen to insult them in any way, there are chances that you have to go in a duel and probably die. So the beginning was interesting, then it became a bit tedious, but then again it became interesting and full of action. But the ending was a bit mm, disappointing. Not what I expected, but I can't see other ending. I think it is what the book needed, so I kind of understand why that ending. I love the intro, I love the setting, I love the action, but I didn't like the characters. It is supposed to be a romantic book, I think, but I didn't find it romantic in any way. And if we can call it a love triangle, I just didn't care that much about that. It is an interesting book interesting ending, not one of my favorite books, but still a good book. Well, another book for the SF Masterwork Collection Challenge. Okay, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Did you know that George W.R. Martin is more than just Game of Thrones? Have you read any other of his books? I would like to know that. Okay, as always, stay safe and be happy. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.